Believe it or not, these are actually two different Chromebooks. And the one up here on top is the original Acer Chromebook 516 GE that I've loved for a couple years. And the one below it is the new Acer Chromebook Plus 516 GE that is about as iterative of an update as you can get. So let's talk about it. But before we get into comparing these two Chromebooks, I did want to mention really quickly, uh, if you haven't heard about it, our growing and just frankly awesome uh, Chrome Unbox Plus community. It's, it's this place you can go and talk about Chromebooks, about Google products with a bunch of like-minded people. It's It's been a great community over the last few months as it started to really pick up steam. It's two bucks a month. You get ad-free access to the website. Uh, you get access to this community, which again is, is just a great collection of people. Uh, you get an ad-free uh, feed of our podcast and we do giveaways in there. We're doing uh, AMAs with the Chrome OS team. It's just, there's all kinds of stuff for two bucks a month. Uh, you just, you really can't beat it. It's something you really need to go check out. And if you'd like to learn more about that, just head over to chromeunboxed.com forward slash join and you can learn more today. All right, so I'm not gonna talk that much actually about this older one. Um, again, if you didn't know any better and I just quickly showed them to you, uh, you might be forgiven for not knowing which one is which. But as you can see, as you look a little closer from the outside, they did change the color. They didn't change the chassis. Um, I don't think the materials changed at all. As a matter of fact, if I flip them over kind of upside down, you can see the fan ports are the same, the feet are the same, the screws in the same position, the hinges, all that stuff. Uh, Acer really did go for the iterative play here. Same is true of your port selection around the edges. It's all the same uh, as the first um, first version of this Chromebook and even the two-tone finish. So I kind of hold this up there. This is a kind of a dark gray versus now the pretty much all blacked out version. Um, I do like the new one better, but as you can see, I wiped this down right before we started this video and you're probably, I don't know, Joe, can you pick that up? Big smudgies uh, up here. The original one wasn't like the most fingerprint uh, safe device I've ever used. This one is, is very fingerprinty. Now it's nice because without too much effort, they wipe right off. So, you know, I don't mind something being fingerprinty if it wipes off easy. It's when it gets fingerprinted and then you can't even get the thing off or get the fingerprints off of there. It gets really frustrating. But um, all around, I'll talk about the ports real quick. Again, they're the exact same thing. USB type C, you get an ethernet port here on the side, uh, headphone, microphone jack. And then around the other side, we've got a full size uh, USB or a full size HDMI, uh, USB type uh, A uh, 3.0 or 3.1, I think. Uh, another USB Type C Kensington lock. So, uh, same situation that you had again on the on the first version, and you're going to just hear me say that a lot. And the reason I wanted to point this out in this, um, we'll call this a review, um, is we're not going to get into the weeds with with this device. To be honest with you, if you want to see like all the way down, you know, see every spec and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to refer you to uh, the description. There's a link in there that will take you to the original 516 GE review. Um, in there, we talk about all the very, very specific stuff. I'll mention some of it in passing, obviously, today. The more important part is, as you're going to buy this device, there's going to be a period of time where both of them are available, and then eventually you may be watching this video and only the new one is available. And uh, I just want to make it very clear to anyone that's thinking about buying one or the other and they think, oh, I want Chromebook Plus or I want the latest processor or I want whatever upgrades I'm going to show you that are in this one. That these upgrades are very, 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 very minor. Um, they're almost not discernible in some ways uh, that if I were to hand them to you, if you could be able to tell me which one's faster than the other, which speakers sound better than the other, which keyboard feels better than the other. Like they are so similar, so, so, so similar uh, that if for right now, as we're filming this, this one, the, the, the old one is on clearance, the original, uh, and it's like, hundred bucks cheaper, even when they're both on sale than the new one is 100% go buy the, the first one. Uh, the first one can't has all the Chrome, uh, Chromebook plus upgrades and all that stuff. There's just no reason really at this point to upgrade. Um, I think down the road, the processor in, um, uh, this new version, uh, could, could show itself to be, uh, an asset uh, for some people. Once there are more AI things, uh, some of these core ultra chips that have some cores that are dedicated for AI tasks, some of those things might actually help out uh, for right now at the moment, like as we're filming this, as much as I've loved using this new Chromebook plus version of the 516 GE, 
I could just as easily go back to the original version and not really feel like I'm missing anything. So I just wanted to make that clear right off, right off the bat that uh, in no way, shape or form am I saying you 100% need to go buy the new one because it's so much better. It's very iterative. Um, and so let's uh, let's talk to a couple of the things that Acer did improve, even if they only improved them just a little bit. So on that similarity front, let's talk about the processor because that's the only real big upgrade. We're still using the same eight gig of uh, DDR4 RAM in here, same uh, 256 gig NVMe solid state storage, all that kind of stuff's all the same. The screen is the same. So I, I would wager it's the exact same panel, 350 plus nits. Uh, Quad HD, 16 by 10, 16 inches. It's one of my favorite parts of this device and its predecessor. I love the screen. It's it's gorgeous to look at, 120 hertz. Makes everything so smooth. It's just, it's a beautiful screen. I love using it, absolutely love it. And then, you know, the internal chassis, the layout, the size, where the speakers are, where the trackpad is, all of it. All that stuff's the exact same. It's just completely blacked out now versus the not quite blacked out version of the original. However, uh, up top, the cameras have the same specs. They're 1080p Acer cameras that have, you know, all the, the adjustments that, that should be there for Chromebook Plus to be Chromebook Plus certified and all that stuff. And so they do a decent job, both of them, of dealing with like harsh lighting situations, which is kind of what we're in right now. And I would say the new camera does look a little sharper to me. But other than that, they're both 1080p cameras. Um, and so there's not a whole lot of difference there either, even though I, I really do feel like the, the, the new one does have a little bit better of a camera and that's a good thing because the original camera wasn't all that great and this one isn't amazing but I feel like it is a step in the right direction but as we move down to the keyboard this is one of the things that I was really looking forward to and one of the things I wish they would fix with the original 516 GE it's still backlit it's still multi-zone different colors and all that kind of stuff but now the the backlighting is actually brighter. So in the initial review we did to the 516 uh, GE, I complained about the fact that under most lighting, I couldn't even see the colors. So RGB is fun, but you had to almost be in a dark scenario to see it. Now I'm sitting under this really bright light, the studio light, I can see the blue coming up out of the keyboard. It's a really nice look. And putting it next to the old 516 GE on the same color at the same brightness level, I can't really see those keys. I can't see the blue very much in those. I can definitely see it here. So I do like that update, even though the keyframe I think is the exact same keyframe from the first one. I don't think anything changed there. It feels the same to type on. Uh, I do appreciate the fact that the RGB is definitely brighter so you can actually you know, enjoy it whenever you use it. And then flanking that keyboard are Again, a set of upward firing speakers that have the same speaker grills. They're in the same spot, all that good stuff. And I think they sound a little bit better, but this is one of those differences that's so minor and so iterative that it's very hard to tell any difference. So rather than just tell you that, let me let me actually open these things up and, and kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the original 516 GE. I'm just gonna crank this up. It's gonna be really loud because both of them are very loud, but you're, I'm gonna let you listen to a couple seconds of spoken word and then a couple seconds of just the track underneath. It's a whole story uh, we'll kind of cover as we're unboxing cool. it, so let's just dive in. Okay, and here's the exact same spot in the exact same video. Uh, we'll kind of cover as we're unboxing it, so let's just dive in. I'm assuming this speak or this microphone picked all that up. Uh, they're very similar. I feel like the new one is a tiny bit louder. I mean, just a tiny bit and a very tiny bit fuller, but I didn't hate the speakers on the original. I, I did kind of wish these got a big upgrade and I feel like it was a very, very incremental upgrade. And then once we move down past that, you've got an ocean glass trackpad. I like the fact that they trimmed it out with the, uh, the kind of like silver around it. It's just got a, a nice look to it. But again, it feels, performs, is basically the exact same trackpad. And that's just the story of this Chromebook uh, when it comes down to it. And that's not a bad thing. I think more and more companies need to iterate. I wish they would have iterated a, just a skosh more on this one. I do like the chassis change. I love the fact that you can see your, your backlighting on the keys. I do wish that the, the processor inside was a bit more of a performance bump. Um, and again, down the road, when there are, if there's a lot of AI stuff running, this one will handle that stuff better. It's got cores to do AI tasks. But for right now, with basic Chromebook stuff, I've run benchmarks and all that stuff. They are neck and neck. I mean, they're just right there with one another. So you got the 12th gen Core i5-1240P in the original. Uh, this one's got the, the new one's got the Core Ultra 5 120, uh, I think in it. They're both fast. They're both very performant. So at the end of the day, 
which one should you buy? And I go back to what I said earlier. If the original is still available and it's still wildly on sale at clearance, that is the one you need to buy. Um, you're gonna be happier with your purchase because anytime that you can get the same kind of performance and the same kind of features for less money, you're always just gonna be happier. You're gonna nitpick things way less. If you go and spend the full 650, which I think 650 is a killer price for either one of these devices any day of the week. I, I, I love the fact that Acer uh, got these devices down at that 649.99 price point. I think it's great, but they go on sale a lot. So uh, the most we've seen the new one on sale for is 549.99, uh, but we've seen the, the old one go on sale for 450 and even $400. And if there's some around as we move into the fall, you can bet those older ones are definitely gonna drop into that like 399 territory. And so at that point, there's just no way I can tell you to go buy the new one. There's not, there are not enough upsides that make it that much better than its predecessor. But there's gonna come a time where some of you watching this are gonna go, hey, I can't find the old 516 GE. Is it worth buying the new one? Or, you know, is it, is it outdated now or something? Absolutely not. It's still a fantastic device. It's one that I have absolutely loved. I looked forward to getting it to, to be able to review the new one because I use the old one constantly. I love both of these Chromebooks. I think they are great Chromebooks. I think they're great Chromebooks at their full MSRP. And so absolutely, I would say if you love a black Chromebook or something and that's more important to you than anything, sure, spend the money if it's going to make you happy. But either one of these devices is a fantastic purchase. It's something you're going to love. It's a device you're going to really enjoy. I can absolutely guarantee you that. But that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon as well. If you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.